Street with Maxi Makes. Welcome to the April Maxi Mail box preview. This month we're going to be making this little quilt together as we learn all about the Drunkard's Path Ruler. We call this the Drunkard's Wheel because it's a variation of the Drunkard's Path and I'm going to show you how to make this um, in this interesting pattern. Let's look at what is included in our box for this month. First of all, you have your pattern. This is called the Drunkard's Wheel, and it is a variation, as I said, of the Drunkard's Path. You also will receive your Drunkard's Path rulers. You have part A, which is this one, and part B, which is this one. Can you see those very well? Let's see if I put them on the table. There's part A, and there's part B. There's an interesting thing about this ruler, though, in that there is a dividing line that goes through the center diagonal of both pieces, which allows for some interesting design ideas um, so that we can actually piece the sections that we cut from these rulers. You probably are familiar with Drunkard's Path designs. If not, you could look on Pinterest for Drunkard's Path quilts and see all of the things that you can do with these rulers as they are but we're going to make half square triangles today and cut the pieces from those which will give us the different colors in our wheel. So to the fabrics in the box, for the purpose of the half square triangles, we've pre-cut. You have three each of all of these colors that gradiate from black to white and one accent color of this beautiful teal. These are Art Gallery's Pure Elements, 100% Pima cotton. So there's really not a right or wrong side, just so that you know that. Um, work with that however you like. You have three each and your pattern only requires two each, so you have an extra one to work with. I suggest that you go ahead and cut a couple of five inch squares out of some uh, scraps that you might have and practice this technique. It's very simple. If, if you'll just watch the video, you'll see, and you might not need to do that, but you do have an extra square should you uh, need that. You also have a fourth of a yard of the accent color, and this is for your binding in the quilt. Let me bring this one over here. You can see that. So see, we've added the binding as that teal. And we have the background fabric, which is so special. This is by Art Gallery's um, AGF Studios. And uh, it's called Love Meaning. So what it is is like a dictionary print with all the definitions of the word love. So it is a directional print though and I wanted to show you how to work with those directional prints. So um, please watch the video before you start to cut this because you're gonna be cutting with the ruler and you're also gonna be cutting that as your outer border fabric as well. You also have thread in a beautiful gray Guterman cotton thread. And then you have a couple of other notions. You have Fomore Cutlery's tweezers. These are actually serger tweezers, um, not surgical tweezers, but serger tweezers. And they're extra long with a narrow tip that will allow you to sew these pieces of fabric together and actually hold them with the tweezers as um, they, you go underneath your presser foot. And that can actually go almost all the way to the needle. I'll show you how to use that in the video. One other thing that's in your box that I'm really excited about is this little ruler called the Stitcher's Friend. This is from um, the friendly folks at Almost Heaven Woodcraft. Let me get this black piece of fabric and see if that helps you to see that. So this is their nine tools in one Stitcher's Friend. And he was kind enough to put our logo on there and kind of redesign this just specifically for you. And um, it will um, help you with nine different tasks in your sewing room. But the one that I really want to focus on and the reason that I've included this in your box 
is that this will help you get a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. So many of us struggle with that when we sew. And so what he has done is make tiny little holes at the different um, seam allowances that you might sew, quarter inch, three eighths, half, five eighths, and three fourths. So, but if you look at up toward this uh, pointed end, there's another little hole that says scant quarter. So that would be your hole to use for a scant quarter inch seam allowance. And that happens to be very important for our project this month. We do need the scant seam allowance as we sew this curve. So the way you're going to align this, um, the way you're going to use this at your machine is that you drop your needle down in the hole of the um, seam allowance that you want. You lower your presser foot and then you look and um, see where the edge of that ruler is with your um, presser foot and that is how you align your seam allowance and I'll show you how to do that in detail in the video. One other thing I want to show you are some options that are available to you with these rulers. So as I mentioned um, a moment ago, these rulers have the dividing lines here. Now we're going to use the diagonal dividing line on part B today, but not on part A. But just so you know that that would be an option that you could also cut this piece from a half square triangle as well and use different colors. So I want to show you some things that you could do. So this is a picture of the quilt made using um, half square triangles to cut both of those templates. And these are bright colors, obviously. Here it is in pastel colors. And I colored one with black and white for the A template and the colors, the primary colors for the B template. And then this one, I used black and white half square triangles for all of them, both um, templates. And then this one, I just mocked up with 1930s style fabrics. So you'll find a coloring sheet on the website that you can download and have fun coloring your own Drunkard's Wheel quilt and um, download that, print it out as many times as you need to and, and just play with your crayons. All right, let's get over to the cutting table and get started. <laughs> 